Hey there, happy AP students. It's Mr. Klimberg here. Just wanted to give you some help if you're trying to get your account set up on the College Board so that you can add your join code to be able to uh, have everything set up for access to the um, AP classroom, uh, to have your registration done, to be able to write the exams come May, all that sort of good stuff. So first thing I'm going to ask you, just as a, a before we start getting into the actual website and stuff, is do you have an iPhone? Because if you have an iPhone, I can tell you that Safari does not play nicely with the College Board. I don't know why, but their website, uh, sometimes if you're trying to use Safari, you can't like click and choose some of the drop downs and stuff like that. So what I would suggest is if you already on your iPhone have like Google Chrome, that's great, use that. The other one that I suggest to people is install Opera. Opera as in like Opera Singer, uh, that browser also works really well on iPhones. If you have an Android device, pretty much it seems like every browser works okay with it. Once you've got that set up, uh, you do want to go to myap.collegeboard.org. That's the website. Um, and when you get there, if you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see it has this part where it says, hey, I need to create an account or you know something like that. You're going to click on that and it's going to take you to a page where you have to enter information. And it's quite a bit of information. Remember, the College Board, based out of the United States, doesn't have any information about you. They're not like linked to Alberta Education or anything like that. So you have to put in your name and your address and all that sort of stuff. Um, one particular note is when you're putting in a um, email address, make sure you're using a personal email address, not like your ECSD email address, because after you graduate from grade 12, you can't access that anymore. So you want to be using like a Gmail address or something like that. You set that all up, you put in all that information and start getting your account set up. Um, another thing is when you're getting around the point where you're uh, putting in information about your um, uh, address, make sure you're choosing that you're a non-US student and that the country you're in is Canada because otherwise it's going to keep asking you for postal codes or I should say zip codes and you can't enter in our postal codes until you've switched it over. So you're putting in all that information and if you have to pause this video for a second while you're doing that, that's okay. But um, you're putting in all that information and getting it all set up. Uh, at some point, once you've filled in all of that stuff, uh, you'll be able to proceed to the next step. Uh, if it is asking about what high school we're at, you just do a, a type in the school name as Archbishop O'Leary with no apostrophe and the L is not capitalized. And when you see a bar underneath that that talks about filtering with a zip code, just don't type anything there. It starts to screw it up. Um, go through all that. You get to a point though where you've given it all the information about you that it needs to set up the account. You'll get to a page that says like, oh success, you have created your College Board account. And then there's a yellow button that says, do you have a join code to join a class? That's when you have to enter in the code that was given to you by your AP teacher. So you type in that code and if this is the very, very first time that you've joined one, it is going to start asking you some more questions again. And I always tell people, I know they're kind of weird questions because it asks things like, what's the highest level of education that your parents have? Um, what is your ethnic background? All sorts of stuff like that. Now, it seems kind of weird to answer that stuff. You have to understand though, again, this is coming from the College Board in the United States. And in the US, a lot of the funding and stuff that happens for these courses comes from uh, being able uh, for the College Board to say to state and federal government agencies, hey, um, even though a, uh, a student might be coming from a background where their, their parents maybe don't have a lot of advanced education, or they might come from uh, a, a visible uh, ethnic minority or something like that, hey, the College Board gives everybody the same chance to succeed at college level courses. That's why they're doing it. it. It ties in a lot with the funding that they get and stuff. So the College Board is really big on generating stats from that. Not so much for us. So you're just answering what you feel comfortable with and hitting submit. And then you should get a window that pops up that says, congratulations, you've joined blah, 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 AP class. And when you see that, 
you've reached the point where you completed the registration you needed to do. If you do have any questions you need to ask me, drop on by my classroom, room 110 in the main O'Leary uh, building, and I'd be happy to help you out with whatever you're having trouble with. Good luck.